going to do. I'm going to do two versions for you actually. One very similar to what we do in the restaurant which is triple cooked and it's a three-day process. It's a very long process that I'm going to condense and put into the film for you but people don't often have deep fat fryers and things like that at home so we're also going to do a home version which is going to be an amazing roasted version. Okay. Uh, we're going to use wild garlic because you've seen me use that a lot lately and it's everywhere at the moment and it's free. We're gonna make an ali ali out of that and uh, it's gonna be a sherry version as well. Manda's local eggs again, Olorosa sherry, our own olive oil and beautiful uh, PX uh, show vinegar too. I've blanched off in boiling salted water the wild garlic. I'm gonna make a green oil out of that, strain it, and then we're gonna make the ali ali with it. <laughs> Done, right. Sorry, I've added my lovely sherry. I'm gonna go. And I've finally got a beautiful wild garlic ali ali. It's to sit up in the fridge beautifully. And those, oh, I'll tell you what, those potatoes. That's where I get excited. Smoked brava sauce. We often cook ripe tomatoes in the coals to use this, but for this purpose, we're going to use tinned tomatoes, obviously garlic, uh, gindia peppers, dried, but you can just use fresh chilies or chili flakes, whatever you want, onions, peppers, normal pe bell peppers, smoked paprika, oregano, thyme, and rosemary and bay leaf. Oh, also white wine. We've got three gurtlash fat garlic cloves, grammar 44. And I'm going to add the chilies now, start sweating them off. You want that lovely toasted brown garlic flavour before you add anything else in. And those peppers will just start to rehydrate as the sauce cooks out altogether. I've diced up all our herbs. We've got all the hard herbs, oregano, thyme, rosemary, bay leaf. Look at this beautiful toasted garlic now. That's an amazing beautiful brown garlic smell. I'm going to add our hard herbs now. Oh, yeah. Mm. One second or so. And then get our onions and peppers in. Cook those off probably 25 minutes, 30 minutes. Then we're going to reduce the white wine. Then we're going to add our smoked paprika. Look at this now. Amazing. Sofrito there. Smoky, rich. A uh, bit of heat in there. That's just, if you can smell that, that's amazing. White wine in. Cook that out. Another two minutes and the alcohol is all gone. Then we're going to add all the tomatoes. Don't forget tomatoes, we've got a lot of water content. So we're going to cook that out for a good half an hour, reduce it by about half before we blend it. We reduced and blitzed our sauce. Look at that beautifully creamy consistency. For this purpose and lockdown, I'm just using what the veg box uh, man came with. So you can use Maris, Desiree, King Edward, something like that that you make roasting potatoes with will be perfect. Potatoes peeled, uh, chopped, and soaking in water to get some of that starch out of that cloudy water. Now, contrary to uh, what people might tell you, size really does matter, okay? Uh, <coughs> too big, and then once it's finished, you can't sort of get it in your mouth in one bite. Too small, and when we get to the chuffing process, they just break apart, okay? <coughs> so, soaked in there, which is absolutely necessary. And get them on the pan, pot, sorry. I'm gonna bring these to the boil. So whether you're triple cooking these or you're doing the uh, home roasted version, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fill that up with cold water, um, heavily salted, 
Okay, and I'm gonna bring it to the boil, simmer it away until they're fork tender and drain them, let them chill and give them a good old chuffing. Potatoes boiled, draining, and we need to let all that vapor come off there so they're dried out. Only when they're dried out, so we start chuffing them. Chuffing them basically, like you do at home with roast potatoes, really ruffle them up. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. This is what I'm talking about with the chuffage, okay? And see, <laughs> ruffle them up. You can get your hands in there as well to get the outsides of those potatoes once they're dried off from the vapor and steam. You want these fluffy edges, okay? And the more you can get your little nails in there, the better. Chefs always laugh at me at work because I talk about my geography. And uh, so you want it like a craggy Cornish coastline with lots of little secret coves in there. That's where you're going to get your super crispy bits, okay? Oil in there, <laughs> slowly smoking, okay? I'm going to get some of these in. Watch your fingers and your eyes, okay? Going in. Don't overcrowd. Just roughly picked thyme, rosemary, lemon peel, and just a few cloves of garlic smashed with the palm of your hand. Turn these over. Well, you already got nicely salted water that you boiled them in, so you shouldn't need to add salt now because we're going to season it at the end again. Get these straight in about 190. Get those cooking like you would roasties. After steaming or boiling and chilling, I'd chill them overnight, okay? Or you could even cheat a little bit, chuck them in the freezer for 20 minutes. But I'm gonna speed things up. I'm gonna put it at about 130, 140 degrees. That's gonna go in five minutes or so. So they're starting to get a light golden crisp on them. Obviously they'll be cooked all the way through. And then we're gonna chill them again. And when you're ready to eat, you're gonna fry them at 190, super hot and crispy. Our first fry have been resting and they're about to go in for their second fry now. Ready to serve. Okay, I'm gonna do the home style first, to be perfect. You can serve this individually or for like, like this for all of you to tuck in. Okay. Golden rules, certainly with us, um, is don't put any of your sauces on top of your potatoes. You've got all this effort to make incredible crispy potatoes. If you put alioli or bravas on top of it, it just goes soggy straight away. So here we go. Here's your home style roasted. Look at that. Lash version. That rosemary, garlic, lemon zest, all that, and their thyme. There we are. Um, some from last week, so got some of our rosemary salt left. And there we go. Smoked paprika. Number uno. And look at these. Our triple cooked. Listen to that. Potatoes, gonna straight away rosemary salt on there, okay? Toss, you chuff and you toss and you've got your right side. Perfect for plating. Gonna do this all over the bottom with that luscious, rich brava sauce, be generous. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna put a load on. Imagine this with this beer, it's just gonna be the best. And the ali ali just there. Left that in the fridge more to tighten up more. But it's gonna be amazing. You've got classic Galician lager, super fresh, light, smooth, a touch of bitterness. Mm -hmm. Australia Galicia, triple cooked potatoes. Oh, like your home style roasties. Two sauces. Uh, recipes and all the measurements will be up tomorrow on the website.